Welcome. Hey, Debbie. How are you tonight? Janice. Patsy. Karen. How are you? Louise. Vicki. Cheryl. Carol. Lana. Beverly. How are you? <clears throat> How's everybody doing tonight? I can tell you, I'm struggling with the seasonal allergies this year. It's been a little... It's a little rough this uh, year. pollen count there. There's a YouTuber. Hey, Carol, how are you tonight? Well, let's do our sound check. How can everybody hear us? Everything will wait for a few more people to come on, but... Tom's in the house. How are you, sir? We've had a lot of Nebraska people stop in for the Nebraska, Nebraska shop hop. Yeah, for the shop hop. Shelly, how are you doing? First time watching live. Here you just fine. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Let's see. The Cyanide. Who is that? Welcome to the show. Kathy, how are you doing tonight? Janice, sight and sound on Facebook is good. Thank you very much. Hi, Kitty. Hey, Georgia. Is it Tuesday already? Yes. If you can believe that, it is Tuesday already. It's almost the end of April. I know. If you can believe that. It's time to just fly. Q1. Just gone. I know. It's already gone. All right. Well, it sounds like uh, sound is good. Both channels. Video's good. Joan's got the hair out I of her like, eyes. No, so there's like a gray hair that's like, <laughs> you know. Could just be a string hanging from the ceiling. We don't know. It could be. Well, who are we? We are Sewing Machines Express, Windmill Sewing Center, and Quilters HQ. The websites are qhq2.com, windmillsewingcenter.com, and quiltershq.com. We do this every Tuesday. From six to seven central, and this month, this week, we are doing block seventeen of our Stitch Peak so long. And I have a new book to show you that I, I actually did get one of these for myself because I think it's a really cool book. I think you're gonna like it too. Well, it's Mr. Forrest. How are you, sir? Hi, Forrest. Karen, how are you tonight, Peggy? Um, announcements: May nineteenth through the twelfth. Or whew, it's going to be that day. <laughs> May 10th through the 12th. May 19th through the 12th. Just does not make sense. Um, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. is a sewing retreat at Quilters HQ. Cost is $50 for all three days. Um, rulers in a day on your domestic sewing machine. Cost for this class is $50. It is 10.30 to 5.30 on Thursday, April 27th. That's a Thursday. Okay. That'll be a fun class. Bridget's Baguettes. I love these. Bridget? I do. I have these and I use them all the time. There's like three little sizes. Um, cost for this class is $30. It's at Quilters HQ. It is April 28th from Linda. 10 to 3. I, there's so many uses for these. I put my makeup brushes in them. And in you one. put your extra drawing pencils in one before too, didn't you? I did. You had, yeah. I did. So, so many uses. Hey, Cindy. Once you take the class and you know how to make these, you will make hundreds. They make great gifts too. I love the fabric that they picked. I would think that they sew together fairly quickly, too. I would think so, so. too. Um, Melody Bear. That is May 6th and May 13th. Just grabbing her by her head here. Grab her by an ear. Oh, it's in the... Gotcha. Gotcha. Um... 
Cost is $45. You'll take two weeks to make this little bear. I think it would just be adorable out of baby clothes. And who wouldn't love this? It's just cute. Um, ruler case. So the one that you're making in the class is actually bigger than this. This is the travel case size. It's $25 for a one week program plus supplies and pattern. Betsy Russell's teaching this. Um, it's a great little project to keep your quilting rulers in or any other sewing motions. Don't just limit it to rulers. Put your scissors in there. I think a rotary cutter will fit. Yeah, a rotary cutter will fit in there. Um, Cutwork medallion clutch. I don't think I have this one. That hey, Jody, is how are you? The Embroidery Club next class at Windmill is May 13th from 10 to 12.30. And Quilter is H. Cutie. H. Cutie. Huh. <laughs> hey, Miranda, how are you? Um, 1.30 to 4. I just had this thought that, thank God, I am not trying to make a living as a newscaster <laughs> reading what is presented in front of me with that voice. But <laughs> um, Make a dream bag. Thursday, May 18th at Quilters HQ from 10 to 5. These are fun little bags. And, of course, you could put your little Bridget's bags inside of them. Hi, Carol. How are you tonight? Let's Surge 1. This is uh, first class is at Windmill. And second class is at um, first class. It is eight sessions, Thursday, June 1st through July 20th from 1 to 4 at Windmill Sewing Center and at Quilters HQ Saturday, July, June 3rd through July 22nd. Cost is $128 for an eight-week program. Do not wait to sign up for that. Um, it's a great class. People have loved it, and they're they're getting those surgeries out and using them. Um, prerequisite for those classes are knowing how to thread your serger. We have a class. It's $25. I think it's $25. I think it's $25. Uh, May 25th at um, Windmill Sewing Center, 1.30 to 3.30. You can take that even if you're not taking the class and just learn how to thread your serger. Is there, uh, Janice wanted to know if there's a pattern for the dream bag. Let me skip back to that one. It doesn't say. The pattern is by, yeah, Bobo, Bo, Badbo, oh, Badobo, B O D O B O. There it must be it. B O D O B O bags. Hey Barb, how are you? There is a pattern for it. Um, this is into June. I'm not going to go into June. We're going to get started. Oh, it feels like there's stuff inside here. People are ready to sew. I'm nosy. Nope. Look at all the stuff oh, all around. Nice little. Yeah. And it folds open, which will stay open. So that's kind of yep, cool. Yeah, so you can fold it open. Mm -hmm. Look how nicely that fits in there. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so we are doing block number 17. We have one kit left for this. So um, cost is $5 a month for the block, or $5 a month. $5 a block. And this month, this month, it's going to be good. Tongue twisters. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, you got to go. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's how you shake them out. Um, yeah, I'll get them all out before the night's over. <laughs> this week's block is block number 17. It is on the website available for you to download now. I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I don't have that trim tool that I showed last week that was so cool. So I've already got my little guide set up on my machine here. And so let's just fly through all of these half square triangles. Kathy, how are you tonight? Okay. Somebody's running on turtle. There we go. 
So Miranda was saying that she made that bag, and it's pretty adjustable, so really customizable for the and stuff. This one, the... Yeah, the dream the bag, yeah. dream bag? Mm-hmm. I think it looks pretty handy. I mean, you could... If you were traveling a lot... You could put your makeup and all well, your you stuff. You could just have multiple bags, right? I mean, yeah. one's for your... You know, stash my notions, and the other one is my grab-and-go bag. Right. And then, we could make one for you with little golf tees on it. One's my emergency bag. My go bag, my... All kinds of bags. <laughs> Gonna be done with tonight's vlog in no time, but that's okay because that'll give us time to go through this book that you're gonna want to have. Well, and so viewers are on tonight, so they're kind of you know, the NFL draft is going on up here, and so we're gonna be doing some coupons for the rest of the week. Yep, look for so, an e for email for from all us. stores. Starting tomorrow, going through Saturday. Hi, everyone, and there's never enough bags. Thank you, Stephanie. I do believe that's correct. You know, I like football, and I watch football, but my son, Sean, really is into football. He's probably the Ravens' biggest fan, <laughs> and so... He has to live in a house full of Chiefs. He has ah, to... Ah. He does have to live in a house full of cheese fans. But, you know, I get it. It's cool and all, but I am just, I don't know. I'm not really that excited about the NFL draft, but yeah. I will it's tell here. you. It's, it's here in town, so yeah. that's a really good thing for Kansas City. There's a lot of people in town, things like that, so... Yeah, you're probably not going to want to go downtown. I'm already <laughs> seeing articles about, because there's not a lot of parking down there. There never is in any, you know, downtown area in a in a larger city. Not that Kansas City's huge. I think our whole metropolis is like 2 million people. But, um, yeah, they're already talking about how they're going to enforce parking. So always keep in mind, if you are coming to Kansas City for the draft, they are also seeing it as a money opportunity. And you don't want to get hey, parking Donna. tickets. How are you? Okay, since I left my tool and I don't know where I put it, I am going to... The dog ear tool? Yeah, the dog ear tool. I think it's on my desk, but I have no idea. They'll, they'll have shuttles down there, too. So they do yep. a lot of shuttling. Now, it is at night, so... Uh, but if you are visiting Kansas City, there are some great foods. Yeah, everybody should stop in, and get venture some out, come see us. See if you can find a dog ear tool. It might be around, you know. It's somewhere. okay. Honey. I'm almost done. You know. Now she's almost done. I found a calculator. Yay! Could be on this side for all I know. Um, I think it's in my office. I oh, my I desk. see. Got a spitter in there. I'm sure that's oh, frightened a couple of people. There's like a whole bunch of thread in here. There is. We use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So I've got all my half square triangles. This one is a pretty easy block. Um, so I'm going to do the center section. It kind of looks like this. This is one you're going to want to lay out again because you want to get all your um, triangles facing the right direction. Because they kind of rotate around the block. Missed one. I was getting ready to go. Did I just not cut enough of these? But I have one now. Okay. 
And if you're not familiar with it, this is, we've nicknamed this the doohickey. I think they're $7.99. Um, saves me from having to run over to the iron every time I need to press a seam. Doesn't make a permanent crease. I always just save all my ironing until the end of the block and then I give it a good press with the iron. Um, and then each of these pieces goes right in here. So I'm going to piece together the center section first. Trying to keep my pieces all in the right, yep, the right order. It's kind of echoey in here tonight. Did we take a quilt down or something? La 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 la. <laughs> Mrs. Cranford, how are you tonight? Mrs. Cranford said you look very pretty. Oh, thank you. Multi finger pressure function tool if you need the proper name. So close. <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> Kathy actually typed it right. I just flipped the words around. And... That's what I do. No chance of getting this wrong, but if you could, I could do it. And I'm just alternating the direction that my seams are pressing, probably not the right way. I just want them to nest. Are these the Halloween fabrics? They are. We should show them. This might be my, my pick. The panel? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to do a kit and a class. Kit and a class. It depends it. on how much time I have. Definitely a kit, though. Hard to believe we're already talking about Halloween. But oh, I was just saw the fabrics up there. And yep. like... Queen of Ween. I like it. It's playing cards. It's a newer, updated version. They released this one before once, but different size panel, a little bit different. Um, kit layout. Okay. I'm just making sure my seams are going the right direction and that they're kind of nesting. Okay. Right, that's not gonna work. I think this one either needs a new threader or a new needle. Lot of new kits this year. Yeah. I have got some great patterns. Did we show the new one yet? The new kit? 
Yes, I don't know. And somebody just asked about the dog ear trimmer tool. Let me. Um, I think it's behind you, Carrie said, on the ruler shelf. Right here. Thank you, Carrie. I know you're working any limited capacity. So this is the dog ear clipper tool. It is. It is very handy. $9.99. And so the way it works is this dotted line here, you just put that on your corner when you finish sewing your half square triangles and it trims it off nice and neat and when you open them up you have perfect squares so it's just a it's a handy little tool for trimming up your stuff it's a nice little straight edge if you want one of these comment make it mine dog ear clipper let us know whether you want to ship or pick up i'm going to attach these And I am a little bit bigger on my bottom, about an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to sew that piece on the bottom and then let the machine pull that excess into the block. Bad fashion advice, but good sewing advice, saggy bottom, tight top. Okay. Post a link for the dog ear tool. You can just post that link for me. Mm -hmm. Carrie's not, like, she's like working from her phone right now. I did show it last week in action. So if you want to go watch last week's video, you can actually see it. But we'll get a link posted for it. I told you this would be an easy block. Again, I'm just going to check my triangles, make sure they're all facing the white right way because I picked up some stuff. And let's sew these together. That could be one of my new favorite tools. You know what? Since we're doing the show, we'll sell those for eight ninety-eight. Eight ninety-eight. So you're saving yeah. almost a dollar off. That's right. So we'll just get you a discount on that one. Okay. Always check those triangles on this block because I set it down and it was not the right direction. Eight ninety-eight. You know what? Make it eight ninety-seven. Eight ninety-seven. Cool it's draft week, you know. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Hey, Kathy. Love this block. Okay, that's good. I am liking this block. It's kind of easy. And I love sampler quilts so much because you don't get just one quilt you get like a bunch of quilts so i could take this block out of the pattern 
and make a dozen or so of these and it would create a really cool secondary pattern as well. Again, check those triangles to make sure they're going the right way. Get that lined up. That's a pretty nice little tool. It is a nice little tool. I would have used it if I would have remembered to pick it up. <laughs> Woohoo, another block done. Little bit of a press here. I like this block. Easy, looks complex, but it's really not. Okay, so my show and tell. I have all the panels a, on my desk. You got a book draft. I got yeah. a book draft. So we just got this book in, and it's by It's So Emma, and it's simply half yards. And so most of the patterns are pretty reasonable size of quilt. And I'll show you a couple of my favorites. And let me tell you how many patterns are in it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16 patterns in this book. Um, but it takes half yards so and some of them are just really really cute like i really like this one hey sherry how are you the book retails for 19.95 i really like this quilt i like the one that's on the cover um and it looks difficult but it's really not you're just doggy or uh, snowballing to make these petals I like this one. It's kind of a modified churn dash. <coughs> Get some coffee. Along with the aller allergies, that's like one of my things. Um, I really like this one. Um, you could add some red and make it a very patriotic quilt if you just like blue, which is probably one of the most popular colors. <coughs> is blue fabric. I was saying they like the spiral binding on it. That's always nice. Oh, <coughs> so nice. Yeah, much easier to... <coughs> well, you get those cookbook holders, and then you put your little quilting book on it. It's just a little stand. Mm -hmm. And... You can leave it open, but yeah, I do like that. I like this one too for somebody that's like a little, like more cooler palette. Um, there is a large quilt, large medallion quilt in it. <coughs> and like I said, these all take half yards um, and then the background fabric. I like this one too, very pretty. But you can see very simple instructions. And if you've got good math skills, yeah, I like this one a lot. Or a good calculator. Or a good calculator, you can cut these out with AccuQuilt. But if you don't, then they do give you the 
method for sewing on each side of the um, um, tri half square triangles and then you cut it and that's where that dog ear trimmer would come in handy. I did not plan that to have these two things go so well together. But what a fun quilt. I like this one. This is probably my favorite with all these different size stars. And you could really do that in any color. That would look really cool in Halloween fabrics. Mm -hmm. yeah. Will you grab the panels? They're just right on my desk and we'll show them the fabrics for Halloween that just came in. Mm -hmm. Very pretty quilt. Great star quilt. Just a nice scrappy quilt. It rotates a, what is that, a 16 patch and a kind of a diamond. That's a cool quilt. This one's fun too. With the churn dashes and the boxes. So this book retails for $19.99. Um, typical fabric requirements, I'll just pick one. Um, background sashing and border, four yards. Woodland block, six half yards. And border, one and, one and two thirds. So it's a really great, great book. Like I said, I got one of these for myself. I'd like to figure out a way to kit these and, you know, put together four or five. It'd be fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you want one of these, comment, make it mine, simply half yards. Um, cost is $19.95 for the book. And let us know whether you want to ship or pick it up, and we will set one of those aside for you. Um, let me grab the price of these fabrics real quick. It's kind of wrinkly because it's been laying on my desk. <laughs> Wait, get the steamer. I could. I got an iron, so. That garment steamers. But this is by J. Rucker oh. Finch. Finch. Oh. And it is Queen of Wien is this collection. I think the panels are $9.99. And I wanted to show you the, the panels because they're just really super cute. And so I actually have the panels because I've been going through and um, measuring and designing a quilt around it. I like the raven, the lady with a mask. Yeah, they're always fun. They're, and it's never too early. Halloween quilts are just so much fun. Just to make something fun. It doesn't even yep. have to be Halloween or anything. And the queens. I like the little, <laughs> the dog yes. in the bird cage. Or is it a kitty? It's a kitty. So the so saith her guide. That's so funny. Little sayings. And last panel in the collection. So come in and see these. These are um, playing cards and they got little sayings on them. So I'm going to design a quilt that uses the panels and some of the fabrics. And, um, but, you know, feel free to design your own too. Really cute. And those just came in. Stitch therapy, night sewist. Yep. Yeah. Born to sew. <laughs> Born to sew. Very cute patterns or panels. Not patterns. Panels. We finished very early. Well, some days are that way. Some days are that way. Let's see. What do we got? Questions for Joan? Anyone? I think we have a new kit. 
Did we show it already? Um. Oh, yeah, I think we kid? did. We did. We showed it last week, I think. Hmm. Maybe. Backyard ship with black ponies. Okay, very cool. Uh, we do have a block or a uh, thread of the month. Thread Bob. of the month. Thank you. And a giveaway. We just pull it out of the. Should we pull a rabbit out of my hat? Um, this month's color is cinnamon sugar. It is a variegated thread. Oh, this is perfect for Halloween too. Um, color number forty six fifty six. And it is this really kind of cinnamony white thread. 15% off for the color of the month. Um, our thread club is back in stock. Woo we got boxes. I, I know. See how nicely it And they can in fit in there. Look at that. You I know, right? What, maybe three in there? Maybe four? Well, you only really need one. <laughs> um, you can fit 12 spools. It's <laughs> 20 bigger. $20 to join, you get the box, and then um, thread you purchase is 20% off. So it's a good deal. The Aerofill thread just keeps going up and up and up and up because like of the shipping else. costs. Shipping costs are kind of pricey right now. So, um, But we are going to help you save some of those costs. So look for emails from us tomorrow. Um, you won't want to miss them. And tonight's giveaway is compliments of Moda. And it says, so more love. These little notepads. It's great for taking notes to take to the shop because they fit in your little purse really well. And that way you can go, I need. Yeah. You got to be able to jot stuff down too sometimes. Well, with my memory, if I don't write it down, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so. Hey, Kathy, how are you? We just need one winner for that. Will it stand up? It'll stand on the side. It'll stand on its side. Nice. Or should I say, is it lie or lay? Will lie on its side? Somebody knows. I'm sure they will. Definitely. I think it's I lie down and I lay something down. So this could technically be lying on its side. Linda. Linda. A-L-D-A-N-A. -A. Congratulations. Linda Aldana, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Congratulations. If you have not shopped with us before, please go to quiltershq.com, register for Joan Sews. That will give us your information and we'll get this in the mail tonight. And if you purchased anything from us and you haven't shopped with us before, also please go register we will email you an invoice with a pick -a clickable pay button and um, email it to you. So you got a couple of questions. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Craver says, how do we find out what's happening tomorrow? Call or wait or what? We will be sending <laughs> you an email. Posting so stuff, be yeah. sure and check your email. Yeah. You can probably check Facebook too. Yes, you can. Um, and another question, Peggy said, uh, you would email a pattern at uh, Active Quilt Club? I did say that, and I haven't had a chance to do that. I am sorry. I will try to get to that tomorrow. Thank you for reminding mm -hmm. me. I do have a note written down to do it, though. <laughs> in the little notebook? Not in this oh, one. Okay. No, in my, in my book book. <laughs> you know, the one that keeps me sane. Okay. With all my little to-do lists. And I got your comment, Mrs. Cranford, about your bobbin counter. So I will give you a call. Okay. What else is going on? Anything? I think that's it. So all three stores will be participating. So yeah. it doesn't matter if you're in Springfield, Missouri or Kansas City. You all get to have fun with us. Yeah. As always, remember... Check your thread path, re-thread your machine, change your needle, you might need a bigger size, oil and your hook. oil your hook before you bring your baby in for a spa day. Yeah. Any other questions before we have some we have some time left over? Got some room in the quilt queue if you've got a quilt that needs it done. 
We are getting pretty close to being, I mean, I think Closer we're about two weeks up, out. Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks out. Uh, maybe, service, maybe three. Services windmill is uh, flying along pretty good. So mm -hmm. just need spa day in there. Mm -hmm. Then um, we'll try to get your machine back to you quick. We're trying to work on our turnaround time as fast as possible. So yep. that's all I got. Have a good night. Thank you for joining us.